Well, howdy folks, and welcome back to the video item Um, it took me a bit to get this going today. For some reason, OBS was not capturing Rome 2 in either windowed mode or game capture mode, and uh, I ended up having to restart the application a few times, both applications a few times. Finally, it worked when I ran OBS as admin, which is weird. I've never had to do that, so... And if any of you if, if any of you guys record the game and have that problem, try running it as an admin, and maybe that'll fix it. Anyway, it's been a couple weeks since I've done my Medowee campaign. I did like, you know, like six videos recently on my Sparta campaign, but uh, I've been leaving this one for a while for some reason, just because I've been, guys, I've been super fucking busy with work. It's like, it's been the kind of couple of work weeks from the beginning of this year where like you do your work and then you go home and you fall asleep for 12 hours and then you wake up and you go back to work and that's that's what it's been like for me so i apologize i haven't been around doing streams and recording as much as i would like but i think it's getting better so you know fingers crossed let's go ahead and look at our situation here let me get re-familiarized uh we're in pretty much the deciding point of the war for the ptolemies and i think we're we've got the upper hand for the most part we have a great amount of cash flow to the extent that we can have three armies up, essentially. Uh, Med Medoe armies being relatively cheap compared to, say, Ptolemaic armies. Uh, they do have an entire fleet down here, which is enough of a threat that I have two armies defending... Like, small garrison armies defending each of these cities here. And I think that should be sufficient still. I'll have to remember to upgrade Diospolis soon. I might actually... No, I don't want to invest the food into upgrading uh, Dias Polis yet, but I will upgrade their temple because I want the the plus public order. We only have three extra public order going right now at normal taxes, so uh, and we are taxing them, so that's not bad, but it, it could be better. That's uh, definitely thanks to the very nice public order bonuses that you can get so early for this faction. Uh, I don't know if it's an eastern faction thing or if the Medui have their own... Like, uh, tech trees? I don't think so. I would assume they're eastern tech trees. I know they're different than Romans. So we have a number of options here. Uh, first off... Would she be in range right here? She would. So what we could do here is uh, move Arakamani, our faction leader, into Memphis. Take Memphis. Uh, Memphis is... Eh, it's pretty well defended for for compared to their cities we've attacked before. Uh, Zira could then move in and be in range of the city, uh, move our Kamani back out after he takes the city, or I guess we could use Zira's help with it. Uh, and then we would have two armies to defend against Ptolemy's uh, three armies, which uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can do that. Considering this one has had the plague recently, we might be able to take them. Uh... This one would be the deciding factor. I think we should go for it, and we'll just kind of see what happens. We may not win, but I think we will. I think I can pull it off as a general. Uh, with my amazing archers and my very heavy main melee line, uh, each of these having plenty of javelins to uh, really whittle down these phalanxes, if I use them intelligently, I think I can crush these pikemen. The Thracian Light Cavalry is a concern. Uh, they have a lot of Thracian light cavalry here. Do they have missiles? Ammunition zero. So no, they don't have missiles. Uh, we have our own missiles to counter them. These our own light horsemen to counter those. Uh, our cataphracts should be able to crush them. That's good. Just looking at these army compositions. Ptolemaic slinger is interesting. Armor of eight. They look like they're armored. See that? It looks like they're wearing like cloth padded armor. I guess they're not, because they don't have a higher ar armor rating than our Mero archers. Okay. Uh, and of course, the, their basic pikemen. These are the these are the big concern. This is a lot of pikes to deal with, but... So yeah, they're going to have seven cav against us. They will have eight... No, excuse me, seven, eight, nine, nine cavalry. If we do end up fighting them, versus our four, five... Six, seven. They will have a cav advantage in terms of raw numbers. That's that's something to think about. But with our archers, I think we can counter those. 
Yeah, that's the route we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna take the potential fight here, which means we need to be careful during this one. Says we can take this easily. I don't care. We're gonna overwhelm them. We're gonna overwhelm them as best as we possibly can. She has lots of attack range. Is that just me? Does she have like an extra attack range boost somewhere? Uh. Public order, open influence, replenishment, upkeep, zeal. I'm not seeing one. Interesting. It, feel, it feels like this is further away than most generals would be able to assist from. I could be crazy, though. Uh, I will fight this battle manually, real quick. Because we want to take as few casualties as humanly possible. Uh, name of the game, as usual here, is to whittle as many of them down with uh, arrows and javelins as possible, and our army is very well suited to that. Pretty much everyone in our army has ammunition, except for our general and our cavalry. <sighs> Take a drink there. Mmm, delicious. Not really. It's an energy drink. <laughs> looks hot. It is summer in the desert, so... Not the desert, really, but... I mean, this is a little inland. Look at the heat wave waves. That looks terrible with the anti-aliasing turned off. <laughs> oh, well. I, have to, I do have to put my settings a little further down to uh, record these things, you know. I think I like this route. Uh, this puts us straight up the middle, gives us plenty of flanking options. We will go for this area... Uh, I'm going to put my archers right in their faces because I really like using my archers that way. Uh, hmm, they're coming from the other side, my reinforcements. Okay, noted. Let's um, let's put my cav over here on this flank. Uh, and I may be able to circle all the way around into these areas undefended and sort of flank them that way. And we will counter any flanking moves they do with our heavy spearmen here, our Dilegora. General can move back here. And now let's group our archers. Make sure they're in skirmish and guard mode. This time I am putting them directly in front of my army, so if they need to run away, they'll run into the soldiers, you know, <laughs> as is their birthright. Someone over there. Yeah, there's other Greek spearmen. We have so much range. We're almost in range of them right here. Uh, let's make sure that my archers don't get murdered. <laughs> Go ahead and run back there. We will have Zira immediately rush up, along with her cav, as soon as she can. We have so many swordsmen. Yep, they are going to rush out at us. I, I figured as much. Figured as much. They do tend to rush at you when you, uh, when you have reinforcements like this. Because, uh, you know, they kind of know the jig's up, so they're going to push out against you. Alright, let's move back, because they got their cavalry coming. Move you guys up. Let's move you guys up to get flanks. Move the general up before I fucking forget, because I'm stupid. Okay. Here we go. Here's the backup cavalry force. Again, this is why I got so much cavalry in the uh, the assisting army, so that they could quickly provide reinforcements to me. As I lose all of my frames forever and ever. <laughs> mm, there goes their cav. Good. You guys did not run where I told you to run. You did not. I told you to go back there. You ignored me getting kills, which is good, but you also ignored me. Don't do that. <laughs> Follow my orders. I'll take you guys off of skirmish and off of guard. Uh, actually, never mind. I lied. <laughs> so I need to stop selecting all my archers at once. That is not helpful to me. Let's make sure everyone has move orders up here. There. Just kind of push everyone up. Doesn't matter, just get up here somewhere. I'll organize you when you're closer. Are you guys actually in range? You are in range from all the way back there. That's amazing. Keep pushing up. Just pressure them. Make sure they don't counter my uh, forces. Still pushing. Uh, what are you guys doing? 
What are you doing? That's not what I told you to do at all. <laughs> I'll need to calm the fuck down. Whatever, loyal. Ooh, here comes the cav right into my heavy spears. Perfect, thank you. You guys are just utter peaches. Mmm, <laughs> rip. Rip, 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 rip. There they go. Fantastic. Here's the friendly cav. Let's group you guys. Move you back this way. Oh, they actually managed to get a charge off. How about that? <laughs> They're adorable. Let's move these guys back. Don't want to take too many casualties in any one unit. Whoops. That was poorly organized on my part. Have you guys all used your jabs? Yeah, pretty much. All right, in that case, how about three of you here, then here, you, here, here, something like that. Start getting flank orders off. You gentlemen move that way. Supporting here. My other forces aren't going to get here before this battle is over, basically. Let's go ahead and start pushing in. I'm surprised they're actually falling back this way. Didn't expect them to. Yeah, there's citizens coming in. Whatever. <laughs> These poor fucks. These poor fucks. They have no chance. My music is a little loud. I'm, it might be overbearing me. If it isn't, I'm turning that down erroneously. I apologize. But better safe than sorry on that one. Okay. Yeah, we got their numbers. They're retreating back to their Acropolis over there. It's like they got a little fort inside. That's really interesting. I like the design of the city. You got your little high noble's house, I guess, up there. That's their little chieftain, I suppose. I'm not used to seeing the AI actually retreat from me. Let's take their morale boost away. Here come more friendly reinforcements. Lots and lots of friendly reinforcements. I love it. Uh, actually do not shoot them because you're going to kill a lot of our own men. It's unnecessary. They're fighting archers and shit. They don't need help. Let's get my cataphracts in there. Interesting. Can you actually go through this path? No. Okay. Wow, this would be a great city to defend. You could just post up over here. You know, defend uphill always. Hmm. It's not a bad defensive... Hey! Stop shooting my soldiers! Bastards. Bastards! Cataphracts can solve that, I think. I should probably actually be putting more soldiers in, huh? I'm not really fighting this very efficiently. I'm kind of being... Kind of being a little cocky about this. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. But it's a bad idea to get complacent. You will lose lives that way, so let's try not to lose lives. Let's just post you guys up there so you're giving a morale debuff. How are my Deligore doing? They're doing okay. Zira, I don't recall giving you a charge order, but apparently I did. Hmm. Hmm. Where are my Moreau archers? There they are. Uh, all of you use fire arrows from now on, please. Blocks. Alright, I'm gonna start pulling Delagora out from the fight pretty soon. Wow, they, they are very condensed. Uh, <clears throat> cough, cough. Time to die. Alright. So no matter to say. Man, these guys look cool. Look at them. Mm. Looks fucking sick. Judge. Oh, lag. <laughs> Game. You know, I think I've left some of my settings turned up from the last time I was playing. I'll have to change that while I'm. Uh, damn. Well, there's the battle. Oh, don't continue. Wait. I'll have to change some of my settings before I start recording next time. <laughs> 52 losses to, you know, 1,000. It's 
pretty pretty high quality. Just grabbing a charger for my phone because oh it is dying. I use it for my timer. There we go. Back in business. Yep, that went pretty well. We did not lose significant forces anywhere, so. Yeah, I feel, I don't know if I feel confident about the potential upcoming battle. <sighs> we'll see. Now, if I can get Arakamani to do 1v1s or Zira to do 1v1s, you know, with night battles, because they uh, are too stupid to come and attack us this next upcoming turn, then that'll be uh, really ideal, actually. We'll just occupy. And now we're gonna move you out so that Zira, uh, so that you can support Zira, because I assume, I presume that Zira will be uh, attacked next turn. That that seems like the, the, the likely outcome to me. Let's go ahead and quick save it, and we'll, um... Also, let me check my graphic settings real quick. What'd I fuck up here? No, that looks the same to me. Huh. I may actually just have to toss unit details a little further down for, for these city battles. I'll think about that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, oh. Excuse me, I forgot all the levels. Even more campaign map movement range. Even more movement range. Yes. Yes, you will move across the world for me. Fantastic. Anyone else I forgot here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's see if the Ptolemies want to square up. Come on, you Alexandrian successor bastards. Kushite's more Egyptian than Egypt, damn it. <laughs> Where's their turn coming up? Here it is. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, wow. Wow. You guys are fucked. I think. I don't know. They do still have their whole garrison there, plus whatever armies I don't kill in, like, this one turn coming up. That is a thought. That is a thought. Okay. I mean, but I can patch up any holes that I, you know, get in... And, you know, with any tactical mistakes I make in the battles, I can patch those up with mercenaries just fine. There's only so much they'll be able to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see how far we can reach this autumn. We won't be able to reach as far as summer, for sure. Okay. Consecrated ground. The nice thing is we have this huge war chest. We're so fucking rich. Okay. Uh, cultural conversion isn't a huge deal with this. Oh, I forgot to change out the buildings. Oops. My bad. What do we want here? This pr will probably be our main... Our main cultural conversion center. So we want the one with the highest uh, conversion. Which is going to be the Royal Sanctuary. That plus four. Okay, cool. Let's uh, just go ahead and tear this down, and we'll uh, tear this down too. We'll deal with building shit later. Uh, we can reach either army, and then our is probably going to get stuck. So Zira can reach this army. They both have night battle, so we are going to eliminate both armies. Uh, and then what's going to happen is basically we're both going to get stuck there. We're both going to get stuck. Uh, this guy, what's his name? Dion. Dion is going to come after us with the assistance of his garrison. We're going to have to retreat from him in both cases. And then he shouldn't be able to, ideally, we'll end up in a 1v1 situation with him, which we may be able to win. This is an intimidating army, but it's not invincible. Can we prevent his movement? 
31 percent only huh okay i will call pause fantastic okay so he cannot pursue us much further this next turn so let's see if we can pull this off the way i'm expecting to pull it off we're gonna snipe uh epinatus ep epinatus 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 we're gonna snipe him first he's the bigger army here uh the sons of zeus Amon under Cratinus is much less intimidating i think uh I think Zira will be able to handle that on her own just fine. All right. Night attack. Okay, it looks like their garrison is actually going to be allowed to help. Why do you say I have such high chances here? I got to disagree with you there. I'm not sure if I do have such high chances. Fascinating. Someone who's familiar with Divide et Impera needs to explain to me why the garrison gets to help in night battles. But the army standing right next to them don't. Like, what, 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 what is happening there? Oh god, it's a very nasty map for this too. We'll take the fight. We'll attempt it. I mean, if we can knock out their garrison, I mean, that's pretty handy. But, like, we're going to take higher casualties from this than I really would have liked. Because we won't even really have any missile... Uh, we won't have anything good in terms of missiles. Uh, second army here. Okay. Even though it's technically just dry, it's kind of foggy. It's hard to see what's going on here. With the moon. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, we do have guerrilla deployment with my archers, but my concern with that is that uh, they have four units of cav. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Uh, we'll continue with the double line, I think. And we're going to want to advance quickly. Uh, we do have the speed advantage, I do believe. No, we don't, actually. Our Ethiopian swordsmen are actually really fucking slow. Huh. Medium melee infantry... Is that bugged? Or am I just forgetting? I, I guess I'm just forgetting. I did... Oh! Pfft. This is how Lysander looked at ammunition instead of speed. Okay, yes, we do have the speed advantage. God. Brain, please. Fuck. I'm not tired, you're tired. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, well actually, we will put these archers like back here. I think. They'll be relatively safe. We're going to advance quickly. Uh, let's just put them over here. They have great hiding. They'll be they'll be safe-ish. We're going to put my cavalry on the right flank. I, t I tend to put them there. Just as a habit. And we're going to immediately advance as soon as the battle starts. I want to crush these first armies. Just run. Just charge. We have three speed on our main melee line. And they have relatively good stamina. Average for, for melee infantry. We have lots of spotting range, and we're not seeing them, which means they are on a hill somewhere, probably. Uh, trying to kind of get a better angle on the topography. They could be waiting across a river, I guess. I didn't realize there was a river on this map. Hmm. Okay. I don't like that we can't see them yet. Let's uh, advance my archers to the left. See if we can spot them that way. My archers are really good scouts, so we should spot them before they spot us. In theory, what's my cataphract stamina? Average? Eh, not great, but not bad. Let's advance my cataphracts up here. We really need to spot these. Um, looks like we are going to end up fighting both armies at once because they decided to not come at us. They're going to camp. Uh. Well, you know, our spotting is reduced, though, because of the forest. So even though we're spotting in this range here, we're probably not seeing them where they actually are. That's something to think about. Let's move up here. I have a suspicion that they're in this area. But they could also just be back here in this copse of trees along this line somewhere. 
Either way, this is unpleasant. <laughs> I don't like this at all. We're gonna just keep advancing forward with the main. There's some of them. Okay, what are those? I think that's from the actual army and not the garrison. I think the garrison has archers. I feel somewhat confident in saying that. So that's where the actual army is. Let us go ahead and form up for that. Our archers have been spotted by their archers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's their army. Okay, because that's not Greek cav. That is their Thracian cav. Okay. Let's uh, turn my jabs off unless I want to use them. Uh, we'll leave them on the spearmen because spearmen need to counter cavalry charges. Actually, I'm a little concerned about my cataphracts getting hit by uh, cavalry themselves. I'm going to put them closer to the main army to counter that. Put my archers in guard mode, but not on skirmish mode, because I need them to get volleys off uh, quickly, if need be. They're kind of over on the left. I don't know what their main line looks like, which is concerning. It could be like this right now. They could be like right here. I don't know. Probably not. They're probably all back in this area, right in front of my face. I can't tell. They're forming up and shit. Uh, we're going to advance and turn a little bit to hopefully face their angle better. My army is at a weird angle to the units I can see. There's their general. Uh, maybe they're all back in here. This little stand behind uh, the river. It's like sensible tactically speaking. Like it's not an awful idea. The nice thing about the night battle is I can see very well when I highlight my units. You know that? Look at that yellow. It really pops. Unlike when it's snowy and you can't see anything. Let's keep advancing. Just want to get more eyes on more units. I don't really want to waste my ammo on these fucking slingers. Oh, that's right. They do get a morale debuff for it being nighttime. Cool. I seriously, I very seriously feel like I'm being drawn into a fight here. Y'all notice that? They're, they keep pulling back. Not a fan. Okay. That looks like it may have pissed them off. Looks like they're coming at me. And this is my problem here. This is... Wow. They're real fucking close. Look at that. They're coming out of the trees. <laughs> they're in the goddamn trees. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit, effective ambushing. Pull the missiles back behind the uh, cab. Wow. Wow, effective ambushes. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Okay. We've reformed to face them. They have the advantage of surprise. But we're doing okay still. Can we get a volley on that cab? I'm going to slow down time so I can find out what the fuck is going on. Uh, yeah. Everyone, fire your fucking jabs. Ooh, that's bad. They're gonna get shot to death by those slingers while they're fighting the uh, cav. My Dilagori on the left flank. They're high quality, though. Mmm, they got a free charge on my cataphrax. Mmm, that's unpleasant. That's unpleasant. That is such a waste of cataphrax. Fuck me. Can you get those... Hippias, those Thracian Hippias. Regardless, my cataphract should have the advantage. It says they're losing decisively. Send a unit of infantry to help out. Okay, we did get our we did get all of our fucking uh, jabs off, so that's good. Let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive. Let's move up. Several units up. We need to start getting these flanks immediately. Okay, what can I target with my archers here? Let's have my fucking uh, <laughs> spearmen just hunt those uh, those down. The general down. Okay, cool. Cool. We managed to route that. My cataphracts are a little more free than they were. Those, cat those horsemen are coming back. Archers. God, I don't know what to target with these. Let's have them target like one failing seed. How about that one? Target that. Swordsmen get in there. How are my swordsmen doing? They're doing okay. Good. My spearmen successfully hunted down the general. They're going to handle handle his ass. And now we have some flanks open to us. We can't catch all these archers. We just can't. There's no way. There we go. This should scare the shit out of them. Okay, 
they managed to counter one of my flanking units there, looks like. Archers, you know what, I need you guys to actually focus on killing some of these missile units. One of you do fire arrows, one of you do fire arrows, see if you can route those quickly. General, get up to support. Cataphracts are good. I'm doing a lot of click clacking right now, trying to trying to give orders quickly. Okay, there's their main line gone. Without taking many casualties, so that's excellent. Uh, rest of you, normal arrows. Okay, we've routed most of them. We have a huge advantage. Uh, keep hunting down that general. Cataphracts are coming to deal with archers. Yeah, their main line is dead. Let's chase them off the field. We do want to chase those off the field. We want as many of those to die as possible. Ideally, we want their army to be uh, completely non-functional after this. Not even able to be present anymore. Let's see if we can get my archers over to uh, shoot their general. Would be nice. Let's see if we can hunt him down. Okay. Cataphracts, do your job. Hit things real fucking hard right in the face. That's your job. We got four fucking swords units failing to kill that one phalanx. One, one phalangite. Huh. I did not see that. I took some casualties because I didn't see that. That's unfortunate. I was wondering where their spear unit was. I didn't see it. Are we done? I don't think we're done. Did we see the garrison army? I can't tell. I have no clue. Reposition. There's their general. Missiles, can you reach, please? See if you guys can reach. This will kill some of my cataphracts doing this. Get those archers out of my fucking face. You guys in range now? Yes, good, do it. I want him dead. I want him dead and gone so he can not do anything in the future. Okay. Should take care of that. Damn, they're still alive! Amazing. Amazing. Okay, he's about to go down. Uh, running away like a little bitch. As is a general's birthright, I suppose. Some of their units are coming back. There's Galatian infantry over there, okay. We're losing men due to shooting our own men, I think. As I said, I knew that was gonna happen, it's okay. I, I really wanna prioritize killing him. Damn, he's still alive, fuck. Stop being alive. Here, let me tempt him to do a return charge. Fuck me. I'm gonna have to hunt him down with both cataphracts, actually. That's irritating. Let me guess. You're coming in for a charge on infantry? You're just trying to leave. He may be just trying to leave the battle. Not impossible. Nope. Figures. Let's see if he wants to turn. This son of a bitch. <laughs> he is making this really difficult. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's almost like I knew. We'll pull you off. Go ahead and get your spearmen in there. This this should finish him off. Yep. Alright. Move up there. We did get most of them. We got most of their units, but they will still have an army after this. Alright, that's handled. You guys handle that. Yeah, that's everyone, I think. I don't think they have any reinforcements coming. I think we fought both armies at the exact same time. I shouldn't really have time to mark what we were dealing with. Ooh, convenient. <laughs> Fire! Pew! Fantastic. I love those longbows. They're real fucking cool. Which makes me wonder why they were not more commonly used during this time period. I guess it's a regional thing, but if they're like objectively superior, why not use them? Maybe they're not objectively superior, I don't know. I'm not a professional historian. I just play games and I enjoy them. I think they're fucking cool. <laughs> My cataphracts did a decent job. They definitely took a lot of damage because I wasn't paying attention to that first charge. It's unfortunate, but they still did all right. 
I mean, they managed to get me the advantage against four, five, six, seven cavalrymen. I didn't see all of them, I feel like. Maybe this was just the one army, and even though the garrison army said it was active, it actually wasn't active. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was killing. I was just kind of going through the, you know, the tactical motions, as it were. So maybe that garrison army wasn't even present. Like, I guess it's not impossible. I'll have to check. I'll have to check after the battle. I'll be able to see pretty easily. But being observant while you're talking is sometimes a little hard. <laughs> People underestimate that shit. I play a lot better when I'm not recording. It's almost like having to focus on multiple things at the same time makes your task a little harder. <laughs> there you go. Get a few extra little kills on those bastards. Alright, decisive victory. Uh, we lost 400 men, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 36, we lost about a ninth of our army. We were we were decimated, almost literally. We killed 1,700, so actually their army may be defunct now. Especially because we killed their general. We'll see. One thing I do actively dislike is that sometimes they get a full general's unit when you kill their general and their army survives. That seems unfair somehow. Wow, look at the performance on these right here. 212 kills. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We lost a lot of Delegora, and I think they are second-class citizens, so that's unfortunate, but eh, it happens. Their pikemen were utterly ineffective. Look at that. Mm. Utterly ineffective. This is the cavalry unit that got the free charge on my cataphracts, I do believe. Looks like mostly they were, uh, most of their kills were ranged units because they had so many of them. Alright, um, I'm just going to free them. I don't want any slaves causing public order issues with me right now. Okay, so, yeah, they did not participate. Okay, so that's just a, a graphical glitch. Alright, cool. Some of you probably realized that and were screaming at the, at the, at the screen. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm all, I'm all right with that. Their army did survive. So now let's have Zira do the same. She does have night battle, right? She does have night battle. That is why I prioritize that. For glory. For glory. Night attack. And I do not anticipate her having problems with this, but let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, so it's just a graphical glitch, I guess. Interesting. Huh. What should this take? About 10 minutes? I am letting my videos run until like 45 minutes max now. This one may run even longer, but eh. It's not a huge deal. It's not like you guys are going to be upset if the video is longer. Oh no, more content. Okay. It does take longer for me to upload though. When they hit 45, 50 minutes and stuff like that, you're taking like 10 Some vids like 14 gigs, just depending on what is on it. Oh, I see. So now we're, like, closer to the river. Is this actually the Nile? That would make sense. Can I see their deployment from here? Can. That is really helpful. Helpful. I forget. I didn't really look at what cav they had, but I don't think they had a whole lot. I don't think they had any cav. If, I for, if I'm remembering that wrong, we're going to pay for it. But I am going to put my archers out here in a guerrilla deployment. Uh, we're going to do the standard uh, two lines of melee infantry. I really like having uh, nice, deep formations. That's one of the reasons why the Romans are pretty fun for me to play. I mean, they're, they're Romans. Everyone plays as them, but I enjoy their formations specifically. Specifically. I'm going to put Zira here on the left flank by herself, I think. That should be fine. Uh, baggage train, you can just hang out back here. Have fun. <laughs> Have a nice life. And let's go ahead and position everyone but the archers further up. Make good your preparations. Make good your preparations. Except here. Baggage train, just leave. <laughs> just, just go home. Okay? Okay. Fantastic. Archers! 
And I can see them moving around because our scouting is just that good. They're not actually moving around. Galatian Quiroas. Galatian Swordsman, I think. Now that, these full units of uh, pikemen, those are concerning. But they should be vulnerable to missiles. What are those? Heavy swordsmen. Well armored, too. Those guys don't look too tough. But the general. No. So they have a couple units of heavy swordsmen. That is concerning. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we, we have decidedly have the missile advantage. So we are going to use it. We're going to advance quickly, aggressively, and we're going to give them a hard time. Because we have all this missile cav. They're not really missile cav officially, are they? They're technically melee cav, but they have plenty of jabs. They don't have skirmish mode. That's something to consider. Oh, skirmish modes. Uh, ooh, yeah, they got closer than I thought. Uh, let's start with those peltists, then. When I see the phalanxes, that's when I'm going to switch to those. Let's uh, kill some of those, please. Let's go ahead and put you in skirmish, because you are going to get aggressed in a second, I'm sure. Here we go. Where is he? That's Their general is actually a phalangite, which is concerning, so... Get shots on them if we can. I do want to kill them, and if I can kill the general in the bargain, well, that's gravy. We'll leave our dudes on uh, on a uh, fire at will. I think. Let's go ahead and fall back. Uh, what? Ooh, peltists. All right, all right. They focused the hell out of those archers. Mm, I did not see that until it was far too late to help. Duly noted. Let's have two of you assist. You can go ahead and charge. You gentlemen, finish them off with jabs. You gents move up. Zero, you also move up. I need to pay attention to make sure she doesn't get focused down as well. Uh, you two handle this. Uh, you two can go ahead and charge in. Be of use. I also lost some cab to those javelins. I was not paying attention. Mistake. They happen. Good. Gotta be careful here, because they have so many dudes hidden in the forest there. Not you, Zira. I keep forgetting she's a cab unit, damn it. Okay. Let's just position you guys way out here. I mean, if they attract the attention of their melee line, that's fine. Do it. Some of those just wasted their javelins on routing units. Bleh. Bleh. Keep ordering Zira around. Damn it, Zira. Stay there. You're not cavalry. You're special. Uh, go ahead and try to route those. Yeah, they're definitely getting a lot of missiles on us. That sucks, but that's, that's, that's the name of the game. Could be a lot worse. Let's just go ahead and get some charges in. We can worry about the details once everyone's engaged. Let's go ahead and move my archers in. They put plenty of work in this this round. Oh, they do have some cav. Look at that. Thracian cav. They hid them back there. Okay. Cool. I'm not upset at that. All right. They're mostly committed now. They're mostly committed. Start pushing in with Cav. And Archers, I actually want you to just focus the General down. Kill him. Zero, you can just go ahead and focus on killing some missile units in the back. That'll be handy. You go ahead and target that. You guys just move across and I'll have you target people as you go. Yep. That General will go down soon. If that continues. And it should. Where is my other cab unit? Oh, you got stuck on these. That's fine. All right, you three do that. Zero, target those peltists. Fantastic, and basically their whole army is surrounded. <laughs> I win. 
Once our general goes down, I will be very happy. I'm probably shooting some of my own men. Yeah, definitely. Those swordsmen are not doing well. Go ahead and three, two, one, pull out. There we go. Here comes the routes. Switch to fire. And yep, there goes their chain route. And this army, most assuredly, with all this cav we have, this army most assuredly will not be functional after this battle. And yeah, I used pretty much all the missiles on my archers, but considering all this cav, we're going to slaughter them off the field. So let's get that process started. For honor! Indeed. Uh, some of you guys can try to help, I suppose. That's cav. You're, you can't catch those. Cannot see. You guys just get out of the way. Let my people do their jobs. Get off of guard mode so you, you don't waste my fucking time. Enemy general is dead. Fantastic. Um, what? Kill those, please. If you can catch them in time. Oh, you guys don't have to participate. You're hurt pretty bad. Uh, here. I didn't really position anyone going up this way, huh? Whoops. Zira, did you manage to catch them? Yeah, you did. Good job. Well done, Zira. <laughs> My wife. I do think it's kind of cool, the concept of a husband and wife leading armies together. That's pretty dope. Don't know if that ever happened even once in history. Someone tell me if it did. I'm curious. I know there, you know, there, there were very few females that led armies, but there, there were a couple, at least. I think usually most of them ended up like being in statecraft, if anything. But I could be totally ignorant. It's not a topic I've done extensive research on. All right, another 400 losses, about an eighth of an army lost this time, and uh, that army most assuredly should be defunct. Well, they have one full unit there. That looks like I totally missed killing them. Interesting. So maybe they'll have that one unit. Whatever, who cares? Ah, delicious. 215 kills, 248 kills. This army can now besiege their capital and, uh, win. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I definitely think they can. I already know more or less how that process is going to go down. So I, I think this war is more or less over. I mean, we'll still have to mop up their positions in, like, Jerusalem up there, but... Having this province is pretty much the end for for the Ptolemies. Alrighty. I'll just free them again. Don't care. You sons of bitches. Really? You didn't even participate. How do you get to run away for free? Fucking bullshit. Alright. Night attack. You see, the game says I can just win straight up if I were to just besiege the the capital and not and auto resolve it, which uh, I'm not interested in doing. I don't want to auto resolve it at all. Yeah, interesting. Oh well, the night battle. Why did you say I could win that? Whatever. Game is actually fairly confident that I cannot win this. I, um, I don't agree. I don't. I'm pretty sure I can. I can't win a siege straight up. But that's to be expected. I want uh, an extra ladder, ladder, and we're going to want some galleries, probably. Yeah, I do think so. That's more or less what we're going to need. Now you can move around a little. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we didn't get any techs for sieges, did we? No, not a single one. Unfortunate. 
What are we researching right now, anyway? More public order. Yeah, that's that's a reasonable one. We will want to get that siege tech soon, though. Just the basics. A couple options here. I could retreat back for like a year and replenish some of my forces, but I don't want to. Instead, let me consider some mercenaries. Some Red Sea Hoplites would not be remiss. I would not be remiss to have those. Uh, some cell swords. I don't know how those compare to what I'm using currently. But I do think I will merge these. Right? Right? Will I? Will I? Yeah. Let's merge those. That gives us an extra unit to, to play with. And we'll get a hoplite to replace that. Yeah. Let's do that, actually. Let's get rid of this one Delagora. We'll get one more hoplite to replace that. And we'll do something similar to these. I do believe. Yep, that gives us one slot. And we'll remove you two. And we'll get... One hoplite just doesn't match with my army comp. We'll get you two. And that gives us a little more to wiggle with in the upcoming fight. Yeah. Really what I need is I, I need more bodies. I really do. But this fleet is menacing the coastline, so I gotta I gotta keep that coastline secure. That's fine. Well, they do have some more stuff to the west, too, and that's annoying. They could move down, like, through here anytime and take Memphis and shit. And, of course, they do have Jerusalem and Salamis, which Salamis will be irritating to deal with, but that is not right now. I will deal with it another time. See you guys then.